Hello and welcome to Carlos and Lisa. I'm Lisa Remillard. And I'm Carlos Amesquitz. Nice to have you with us. Today we're going to talk about being kind, Lisa, because kindness, of course, is important in a world where we're at each other constantly. It's kind of a good thing to remind ourselves to be kind. I know. It's, you know, sometimes when you're on the internet for too long, it's difficult. You know, like when you're online for too long, it's difficult and you have to, at least for me, I have to remind myself, this is the internet, back away from the internet and just take <laughs> a breath before you say something. Because our natural reaction, I think a lot of people is to just, but what about this? Or, but that's not they right. They challenge you on everything. They right, challenge like, you on everything. And that's the thing. I think that, you know, for those people who contribute regularly to social media, like you do and so many others do, that you want engagement. You want people to like what you're doing and, and enjoy what you're doing. But there are always some people who are just, they're just hell bent on being unkind. They're hell bent to make things, you know, I don't know what it is. Is it just that they're maybe just at home by themselves? trying to figure out how am I going to have a conversation that engages people and they're just ugly. It's horrible. Yeah, I don't, that that mentality, I don't understand. And I, you're right, I see it a lot. Um, and I see it a lot because I'm I'm on social media a lot. And and it's like, a, but it's, but it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. You and I've had this conversation. It's not something that's yeah. normal to me. Like, and I've, we've been on television for a hundred years, you know, like we're used to talking to viewers. We're used to people not liking the things we're saying. We're used to that, but this on social media, and I think a lot of people would agree, is a totally different ball game. And it's yeah. really, and I just wish everybody could just maybe, and I, and I, and I say this all the time, it's just like, maybe just back away from the keyboard and take a breath before you start typing, you know, instead of just firing it off. I, you know, many years ago, uh, I used to do sports on KTLA. I called it sports stuff because I wasn't a sports guy. <laughs> and I said to my boss, I'll do sports, but I got to do sports the way I want to do sports. And he said, all right, whatever, just saying, stop complaining, blah, blah, blah. So the very first sports cast, the, the Raiders were going to play that weekend. And so here I am doing sports and I said, on TV, I hate the Raiders. I'm a Chargers fan, Tr true blue and gold Chargers fan. This was in LA, okay? And the Raiders were in LA at the time. I, and I said, I you Raider fans, you listen to me. They're gonna leave LA someday and hurt you. That's why I don't, and I don't like the Raiders anyway. Bags and bags and bags of letters came in complaining about, they wanted me fired, they wanted me lit. I mean, they were the things that they were saying were me like, what? I mean, and it was fantastic. Wait, let me just, let me just back crazy. up for a second, because you said bags and bags of letters. Talk about the yeah. Stone Age. Handwritten right? mails, handwritten <laughs> mails. So so the thing about it is I had a lot of time between action, action and reaction, right? Right, right, as opposed to, and that's really the difference. I think, because I, when I started in television, I also had bag, not bags and bags, but quite a, <laughs> quite a few letters sent to the station about me. Um, but that's the difference now is that it's immediate. It's right. You can, you can, you can get your information straight to the person that you're upset about or straight to the television station or straight to the social media account that you're upset about. And that's the difference. It's just immediate. And there's like a, this echo chamber online oh, yeah. right? like so oh, yeah. one st where, as opposed to a letter that just gets somewhere and you can either throw it in the trash or take it to heart online it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and so a little later in the show we're, we're going to talk about kindness because i i talked to the queen of kindness that would be lou parker my former core anchor at the ktla she's like she's created something called kind and company we're going to talk all about that you know it doesn't take that much to be kind to think about it twice before you say something before you react in a weird way that isn't kind because look you know you got to count your blessings you got to understand that you know in in your world things may be tough and but it's not you know you need to be conscious of other people's feelings and how they might react to something you would say i know it's so I just keep saying this. I think the social media world has created a lot of me, me, me culture as opposed to yeah. what's best for all of us, right? Like, let's just yeah. kind of 
and and Lou's that interview you did with Lou is so great. I'm so excited for people to talk to hear it because she is really like in my head. I'm thinking, how can I be more like that? <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess it is. I need to take my own advice. <laughs> Back away from the keyboard and take a breath before you type. We have a great show. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back with more Carlos and Lisa.